for Anderson County. And here is the kick. Kind of short to the right side of the field. It's a spinner and hits the ground. And wow, okay, that's not a good start for Anderson County as Waylon LaRue lets it back. And Martinez lets it fly. Man is wide open to the 40 and pushed out of bounds. And that time it looks like Braden. Have that drop. Third and nine, Martinez going right back to that's uh, a catch. That wow. is a catch. Now see, that, that lets you know you've got a great player. You, you go immediately go back to him after the drop, and then he secure a very hard catch there on the sidelines for a big first down. Well, it's funny because that's what you said. Does Gavin know? Here's Noah again going around the right side. He's looking for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Anderson County. Anderson County takes the county though. So here is Martinez. He drops back to pass, looks downfield. Got him oh, in there. One handed, one -handed what? catch uh, by Brady. Oh, he turned on the burners. Gets to one the to five. Beat. Oh, goodness gracious. One handed catch across the. You know, that's just an outstanding. That, that just shows, you know, uh, Anderson County over the summertime when they. Let's see if. No, can stick it in there. Of course, you know can. he can. Oh, Touchdown, yeah. Anderson County. Shoot the fireworks. Here we go again. Oof. You can hear him in the background. <laughs> I know it. Man to his left, one to his right. Man in motion is Magdos. Magdos gets the end around, and he's going to be gobbled up and dropped in the backfield. Ball on that return. Look at top. Martinez. Looks, he's going to let this one fly, and that pass is picked off. And coming out with it is Green. Aiden Green to the 20, to the 30, still going. Finally brought down just shy of the Powell 40-yard line. Powell, second and four. Handoff goes up the middle, finding a lot of room for Powell is Fabi Niwo. From the four yard line. Trips at the top of your screen. Anderson County shutting down the inside. Sukesbury looks, gets it out of the backfield to Wheeler, wide open. He's going to wheel right into the end zone. Touchdown, Powell. Great play call by the offensive coordinator of the Powell Panthers. So now, Martinez. And that is a quick wide receiver Ooh. screen. And woo-hoo, J.J. Faust delivers a man in motion and getting it and tackled in the backfield that time is LaRue. Steven. It's a right tackle for Powell. He is 6'8", 300 pounds. And that right there is an athlete. It's a big guy. Stukesbury back to pass. Let's it fly. And it is picked off. Going back the other way for Anderson County is Dalen Cole. Cole still on his feet. Crosses the 20, reverses field, up the middle, down to the 10, still on his feet somehow. Da -da -da. Gets in the end zone. Da -da -da. Touch down, Anderson County. Off the edge. Up the middle, up the middle, up the and Good then play up the middle, read. That is Nick Moog. Moog still on his feet, crosses the 30 down to the 29 yard. Upfield to the second level for Anderson County. And No again gets up to the five yard line. And that is enough for another Hammers first down. This time it'll be first and goal. 6'1", 225, 230 pounds. There's and back up to the line real guy. quickly. Here is No. Basically, after running a defender over, handoff goes to Wheeler. Wheeler breaks some tackles, gets up to the 30, still on his feet, up to the 39-yard line. Man-on-man -man coverage again. Martinez over the middle. That pass is complete. And into the end zone is Bryson Vowell. Touchdown, Anderson County. with Wheeler in the backfield. Wheeler does get the handoff. Finds a big hole up the middle and finally brought down, but in Anderson County territory, 
tackle that time by Dalen Cole in the third quarter now. Stukesbury lets it fly towards the end zone. That oh, pass wow. is caught. Touchdown, Powell. And there's a flag. That's, I'm guessing, an unsportsmanlike conduct. Hard count. Hand off. Moog. Moog. Up to the 40. Up to the 50. Driven out of bounds at around the 47. That's enough for a hammer's first down. Nick Moog in on the big run. I think it's safe to say you're looking at one of the best one-two punches in all of East Tennessee. Beside him again. This time he's going to pass. Let's it go. He's got Val there. Val runs under it. Still has room and then pushed out of bounds at looks like the 23. Six four, one hundred and eighty five pound wide receiver. Throw it up. Martinez fakes the handoff to Moog, looks over the middle, Bryson Val, touchdown, Anderson County. Just a quick slant there. Stukesbury. That pass is complete, and that's enough for a first down. Have real dogs out there. You can't have a bunch of quitters. Ooh, there's a fumble on the play, and Stokesbury somehow comes up with that football. It's a mind to assist you. Martinez, end around, goes to Braden. Eli Braden finding some running room up to the 44-yard line before he's driven out of bounds. And last game they played was a state championship game in which they won. Now here's a handoff up the middle to Nick Moog. Moog has enough for the Hammers first and 10, all the way down to about the 35-yard line on the play clock. Two on the play clock. Gets the snap. Martinez lets it go over the middle, pass wide open. Touchdown, Braden Miller. And Anderson County just adds to this lead. But a team like Oak Ridge tonight completely blew out South Doyle. A good South Doyle squad. Um, you know, and like we mentioned in pregame, in the Lane Walden pregame show, that Oak Ridge, that we are both expecting Oak Ridge to really have a very special year this year. They have the capabilities of it. And it's starting off strong with the likes of a dominating win over South Doyle. And it is final fireworks.